Hello and welcome back to State of Decay 2. We just got a mission from the distillers. They want some help with something. That might be a good way of getting some influence. Influence which I need to move into the new base. I know we just finished this place and we're moving already, but yeah, we kind of have to. I am still wary of how much stuff I have. We're in a pretty good place. You know, 15 and above of everything is okay. So I should be able to, you know... Take a couple of minutes here to go and do some helping quests. Oh yeah, I'm out of gas cans. Hmm. Right, well I'll go do this quest and then we'll come back here and we'll do some looting. Because I need to get stocked up on just everything. Preferably before I move as well, because that other base isn't in a good location for looting. It's one of the downsides of it, but it does have a lot of good slots. Yeah, oh, that's a lot of you. If I just dodge around while they use their pistols, might be the smartest way to deal with this. <laughs> just let the AI do it. Ah, but it's boring. Let me grab that crossbow bolt. Hi, you have a house full of things. There's a skeleton on your couch there. My friends and I found a stash of alcohol. I got drunk and woke up here alone. Come on, Jamie. They better not live in a plague zone, I swear to God. No, they actually don't. Get in the car. Glad I could help, but I'll have to think about it. Alcohol is what got you into this mess. Mm-hmm. Dude, you rock. You got anything to trade? Want to trade? Sure, why not? Oh, just alcohol. That's not very helpful. Two hundred influence, though. A thank you. Right. Well, how about doing some looting? We have this whole neighborhood here, which I haven't looted. Now I only have. I was gonna say I only have four inventory slots in the back of this, but there is actually a truck down there, which would have a bit more. So if I can get some fuel, we can take that truck away and leave this uh, Miragra behind. And we can loot this whole area. Sounds like a good way to use my time. So where can I get some gas? There's a gas station right there. Perfect. There we go. Hat. Oh, the last container's out here. Of course. I think I got something. And a fuel thingy. Nice. So oh, there's a car here as well if I want one. How good's the storage on this? I'm guessing terrible. Yeah, pretty terrible. <laughs> right, well, if there's nothing in the back of the Miragra, then I'm just gonna go run down to the truck. Yeah, there's nothing here. Where's that truck? Down there. There was a juggernaut there before, but I don't know if that persists. So let's run down and see if we can get that truck. Hopefully it's in, you know, usable condition as well. Well, that shooting XP's coming along well. Ah, there was a gas can in this. Perfect. Let's refuel it. Okay, this has way more inventory slots, so we can bring back way more bags. Which is the main reason I wanted that truck. Let's, let's have a look in this place. Okay, it's clear. Let's see what they have. Sellables. Nail puller. Just seems to be worse than mine, but three parts, I guess. Good bag. Now all these little things, like the bag of snacks and the copies of encyclopedias, we can take those back to the gun outpost here and just drop those in the supply locker and they'll be available everywhere. So that's the nice thing about having an outpost. But the bags, well the rucksacks of supplies, those have to be brought back to the community the hard way. Whole rucksack of meds from a bathroom. I feel like that's not a thing. Well, you could get a few rucksacks of a few types of meds. Uh, in certain bathrooms, of course, this is exactly where I would expect to find a repair kit. That in there, we're getting a nice supply of everything. Anything interesting in these houses? Five containers, probably then. Oh, definitely some zombies. Who am I hearing? Where are they? Hey, shootings, Max. Let's have a look here. Uh, assault. Significantly reduce recoil and you get the kick attack. I'll take that. Better than the default one. What's the other thing my character needs to finish in? Fighting, yeah. Well, that one's easy. I got nothing left. Just have to do that a bunch of times. Okay, nothing crazy useful out of this house. Let's check next door. More luxury items. I could use the influence, so I welcome this. Yeah, houses are a really good place to get luxuries, which does make sense. 
Oh, someone told me in the comment section, this is completely random, I just remembered it. I can apparently make the basic signal booster, uh, signal antenna, sorry. I want the double one from the, the network, but this would get me at least one more outpost, which might be useful, but I need 200 parts. And I don't have that on me right now, and I don't know if you can salvage from the outpost, but let's go and check. That was the most pointless journey ever. <laughs> the T to salvage? Yeah, you can, okay. There, and then if I go to the base, and... The workshop craft facility mod, one signal antenna. Cool. And then we can install that in the command center to get another outpost slot. That'll take a few minutes to install. I don't remember what kind of outpost I wanted. Maybe just a safe house, but honestly, the not enough beds thing is only giving me like minus seven. I don't really care that much. Um, is there people? Yeah, there's people around here. I could trade with them. Let's see, what luxury items do I have? Uh, you know what, I'll wait until I've looted this whole place, see what we can take over to them then. Where else do I want to check? Let's head back over there. That's a screamer. Yeah, that'll keep you quiet. It was. This is where those other guys used to live before I became them. This character was one of them. <laughs> Bear kits, yes. Gas cans. This one's clean and some luxuries. Okay, here's the house we found Jamie in. N containers. Of course, a mechanics textbook, no. Of course, after I absorb two whole mechanics into my group, I find the textbook. Hey, we max Perros. Canning station. Increases your food storage, I see. Airtight containers, another storage, another food storage container actually, but this one I don't think has to go in like the kitchen or anything. Interesting. Weird that this house had them both, but whatever. This house is making me do like three trips back to the outpost. So much shit in it. Bro, why the fuck do you have so many videotapes? When is this game set? Why do you have an Xbox controller? Wait, what? When is this game set? Hey, this place is looted. I was a wandering trader. Trade. It might be good. We'll get them on the way back. But they only have 30 minutes of being here, so I might have to divert my efforts to that. Oh, this character's getting fatigued. Annoying, but we can switch. That's fine. Yeah, let's take him. One of the original characters. Okay, we got three more containers plus my back, so four. Head down the road a little bit. Hey, a pistol. Hi. No oh, dice. oh, this is gonna make noise. Mints. Oh, food as well. One moment. That's a lot of zombies. They're very confused. They keep turning around like, what is killing our friends? I don't understand what's happening. That. And stop. Had to go and invite the undead. That was the loudest thing that ever happened. Hey, shooting's max at least. Right, let's see, what can we get for this character? Oh, he's our munitions guy. Oh, he only has weapons handling. Boring. Okay, we've got two more slots. Nothing else in here. What's happening here? <laughs> it's like there's a lot of zombies in there. Oh no, they're behind it. That makes more sense. So place is covered in zombies. Hi there. Definitely still someone in there though. Well, guess that solves that. Materials, nice. Alright, we got one more slot and it's my back. After that, I'll head out to the trader. My bolt back. Acrobatics is maxed out, nice. Fighting's maxed, nice. And pick specialization in a moment. Sword play, yes. I greatly enjoy the leg sweep. Hmm, the zombies are kind of blind, but they're much better on hearing. Interesting. I make loads of noise anyway, so I don't think it matters. <laughs> and nothing out here. Okay, so it's only the plague zombies that have that effect. I see. How long have I got on the trader? 15 minutes? 
Let's probably head out. Let me grab a bunch of valuables to sell to them when I get there. I'm missing one bag, but it's fine. Night's about to come anyway, so I'll head back. Talk to that trader, wherever they are. See if they have anything. Oh, she's a food trader. Well, I'm just curious what she has. There's some food. A hunch I would find some there. There. All, all the possible rucksacks I could bring back right now are with me. Hi. Uh, okay, so she has a bunch of mods, including the compost bin, which will increase your food yield on gardens and stuff. Most of it is just food mods, though, which isn't really something I bother with much. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother using any of my influence for this, but I at least sold some stuff to her, so I've got myself up to just under 2,000 influence, that's helpful. Let's head back home. We have enough storage for all this kind of stuff. Definitely got enough gas. Okay, there was no limitations on any of that, so let's see what we finally end up with. Oh yeah, looking much better on stuff now. Right then, so another consideration. Oh, what's this? So, oh, this is only where that effect is in place, is it? Is that a new play cart? I don't remember that play cart being there. Anyway, um, I think I want to take down two play cards, and I think I want to take down this one. And this one, that'll put us up to 8 out of 13 down, which will leave pretty much just Marshall down here. Is that what this place is called again? I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, and it'll also leave this one here that I'm not convinced the game didn't just put there. So let me switch to a character who's a bit less uh, beat up. Are you a hero yet? Yes, yeah, so he gets rooftop recon. Cool. Let's see, Cecilia would get more parts from weapons. That does sound useful. We don't know anything about Owen in terms of what he could become. Plus the morale could be good for Rick. Yeah, let's take Rick. Let's see if I can get myself armed to take down a play cart. Well, I really need his ammo, but we do have the armory for that. Oh, yes, we'll give the stray cat some food, because that's a good way of getting influence. We've got C4. I don't know if I like C4, though, because you have to place it, move away, detonate it. Place it, move away, detonate it. I don't know if it's good enough to justify it. Compared to just, like, spamming napalms at it. Or thermite grenades. Because I know if I place like two C4s and detonate them at the same time, the play cart doesn't really register both the damage at the same time. That's to stop you like putting all six of your C4 charges on it and just blasting it and having no conflict, right? So I'm not sure how useful they'll be, but I'll, I'll make some and we'll try them out for this. But I'll probably bring some back up other kinds of explosions as well. Uh, let me get a toolkit for whatever I'm going to be taking out there. The meds and stuff as well. And... Sure, Molotovs can be my backup. There, that's a good little setup. Let's go take down this play guard. It's not guarding much, but it's kind of close to the house that I want to have. And if the um, C4 doesn't work very well, then we always have this SMG. 70-ish rounds for it. It should take down a play cart at this stage. There we go. I'm going to take this thing. Yeah, I better check it's not carrying too much extra stuff in the back. Yeah, see, random shit in here. Right, let's head down there. If nothing else, I'm sure the C4 will soften up the play cart to make it much easier to kill with the SMG. Could have brought some distraction thingies, but I'm sure I'll be okay. Oh, there's just a feral wandering around over there. I'm getting back in my fucking car. I'm gonna lead them all away. <laughs> yeah, that's the feral dealt with, at least. I see no way that plan can go wrong. Hmm, play cart's not in here. I play cart. Let me just place that there. I walk away now. Uh, where's a good angle to shoot this thing from? Maybe hit it from outside. Oh, perfect. Yeah, right. Let's see the C4 first. Yeah, that softened up very nicely. I just need to deal with the pedal. That's him dealt with. Right then. So. I think Rick's now a hero as well. What have we got in here? Shotgun, materials, usual stuff, basically. Now let me switch his bag out. Try and dump this all in my truck real quick. So there is a quest here, or I call it a quest, a mission. Search the red farmhouse for Ray Santo. I don't think he's here. If he is, I just see ward him. Hang on, I need to go put some stuff in the truck. I'll bring it over. Oh, of course, it replaced all the zombies that were around it, that were plague zombies, was just regular zombies, just to make sure I... Felt the impact of my actions. Because the game is a bastard. Yep. Yep. Right, let me grab the truck and I'll take a better look at what the quest wants me to do here. Oh, a note. Map to supply stashes, signed by Ray Santos. Lily. 
you drop that immediately. Pray, <laughs> okay, I guess we're gonna go hunt down Ray Santos. Not what I came out here to do. Still, we cleared the play car at least. Yeah, that looks like a guy. Eyes up. We got dead heads. Uh, uh, sure. I need to search isn't very far. That's a lot of stuff. Escort Ray to the clinic. Okay. Where is the marker? Oh, it's up there. Oh shit! Yeah, the stray cats need food. I remember that. I need a break. Yeah, this guy's maxed on fighting. Can we get some sword play? Oh no, he's good with blunt weapons now. God damn it! Just put the crowbar down. All dead yet? Oh no. Two hundred influence. Oh, that's helpful. Right. Let's see. Uh, no. Okay, no food in there. Let's go back to my base. Who are the stray cats? They are there. Oh, they're the guys with the guns. We don't want to piss them off. Um, let's go get them some food. Also, Cecilia wants to talk to me, and she has a big purple icon next to her, which means something involving curveballs is about to happen. Bandits might be heading our way. Expect trouble. Fun! I really need to stop doing this. Ransacked outpost, huh? Where's, where's that? Where are these bandits? I don't see them. Yeah, whatever. We'll go and do the food thing first. Right, let's grab them some food. I'm keeping my gun on me in case those bandits hey turn out to be I'm something back. interesting. Oh, are they taking over one of our outposts? That's annoying. This feels like the right place for me. Daily income from materials and food has stopped. God, you fuckers are annoying. It's fine though. I'll deal with the food that the other guys want and then I'll go shoot those fuckers. And that food. And then I'll go and assassinate the bandits. Well, I took the wrong truck. I have no fuel in this, fuck's sake. <laughs> Hello. Pizza Thanks. delivery. Cool. Don't get dead, okay? Do I get an influence bonus? It doesn't tell me like how that works though. Is it like do I get an influence every day or plus one hundred a day? That's fucking helpful actually. It's a very slow bonus, but from zero influence a day to a hundred, I am gonna take that. They are my new best friends. I'm gonna run over to this outpost and get a repair kit and some gas for this truck, because it is fucked. And then we'll go and kill the bandits. Wonder, do I maybe want like a more precise weapon? But I don't these use the 357 stuff. Oh cool, so I can actually use that. I'll keep the pistol as a sidearm. Lever action rifle. That might be my best bet for like a normal rifle to take these guys down. And then maybe some grenades or a grenade i guess right and then let me get the gas in the other thing i would rather have a longer range precise weapon rather than trying to take them down with an smg let me also grab a blunt weapon because that's what this character uses right let's go take them down mm, this is a very open area and they have like an actual fort that's not great and there's plague zombies this is suboptimal to say the least Piss off. I'm gonna bring them all to you if you don't stop shooting me. Fucking annoyances. I really don't like how they can just fire wildly in this plague zone and none of these zombies are attracted to them. But if I shoot, all of these will just run at me. I think I killed one of them. One of them's gonna get themselves killed by a plague zombie, that's good. Here comes another 70 plague zombies. Yeah, 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 whatever. Can I now get back to shooting humans? That's one down again. That looks like I didn't kill the other one. She's dead. Dodge them. Bitch to my pistol. Kill a million zombies. Well, kill her then. You don't do things halfway around. Get the job done. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 
Dana. Well, that was miserable. Let's go see if they have any good loot, though. Guns. Better knife. Well, I don't think there is a better knife, but a knife. Flashbangs. Another gun. Uh, is this? Uh, it's bladed, but I'll take it for someone else. Um, another pistol. Big old police nightstick, but it's kind of just worse than mine in every way, and I'll take the gas can. That works. I guess I'm empty. More ammo here. Right, I'm gonna go back to base and reorganize myself a little bit. That curveball's been stop. dealt with. Get off my door. Oh. Why does Cecilia still want to talk to me? Thought that was about the bandit thing. Let's go talk to her, see what she wants. Zombies are getting tougher. Okay, well, I'm to keep an eye out. Okay. She gave me a frag grenade. Okay. So, zombies are now thick skinned, but it's not active yet. Okay. Right, I kind of want to go out and kill yet another play cart. 2,600 influence. Oh, that's good. You know, that has a break on it. We should take that. Uh, let me take some other things just in case I need them. There we go. Thick skinned is now active. Resistant to fire, melee, and are harder to impact with vehicles. Okay. Okay. That all makes perfect sense. I'm still going to go take down... Ooh, there's now two purple effects. As I was saying, I'm going to take down this play card because it's kind of just exposed and easy to get to. And it'll open up a lot more loot for me. Like this whole area I can put a... Uh, and just loot this whole, like, valley. I need to switch characters. Shit, I just gave myself all this and I have to switch. That should do it. Let's head out to this next play cart. And remember not to ram any zombies. Ah, there's the play cart. Right, let's get in here. Take down that play cart. Please don't be locked. Perfect. This place is disgusting. Back to sneaky mode. Nice little ammo outpost here if I wanted another one, but I have one, so I'll pass. Place this. Go the way. Get a few. And it's dead. And there's the feral. Yep. Ah, that was went very well. Is the bloater where's the bloater? Bloater's beside me apparently. Okay, that play card just went extremely easily. That's some fuel. Okay, let me go put some stuff in the truck. I don't plan on doing much out here just yet because I want to save my influence for getting that new base. And then I can build an outpost out here and loot it for all it has if there's anything of particular value out here anyway that was the eighth play card so we're well on oh, the hyper auditory mutation has ended didn't even experience it <laughs> some parts anything else in here Turned. yeah some 22 um i can live without eight parts let's see this character just became a hero didn't they which leaves just owen who doesn't even like tell us what his hero ability is gonna be yet but that's fine but yeah, we took out 8 play cards out of 13 so far. That's making very decent progress towards completing this, at least on um, Dread difficulty. Is that what this is? I'm interested in checking out these lookout points and seeing what else is out here before I leave. Because it is quite a drive away from my base, so while I'm out here, I should at least find out some stuff. Oh yeah, I forgot. The zombies are, like, extra tough. Probably shouldn't ram them. Might find a repair kit around here, though. But first, I have this to deal with. It's been a while since I did this, because most of the areas have been scouted out for me. Anything up here? Some parts. Got some garages and houses. What else is there? What am I missing? Oh, this. That should do it. That's all there's here. Okay, and um, we'll go up to the next one. See what else is there as well. There's apparently like a mission here as well, but I'm kind of more interested in scouting. Ah, max cardio, nice. Uh, let's grab powerhouse, good for heavy weapons. I don't see how I'm going to be able to see much from here, but just go with it. I think that might actually still be roadworthy. Some kind of vehicle there. Mostly just cabins. That should do it. One of those magical bathrooms that has loads of medicine in it, at least. Oh, didn't mean to do this. I am interested in what that car is, the Brogan Rapscallion. Just want to see what it is. Could be good. I mean, my car is broken. I gotta rest. Ah, it's just a normal little car. Okay. 
Alright, so that was probably quite a jarring cut, but basically I started a quest up there that I didn't want to start doing yet because it's a lot of effort and there was a plague zone involved and I was like, ugh, no. So I came down here and made myself a little outpost. Um, it's at the play cart I cleared. Uh, so I could switch characters to try and get rid of him. It didn't work, so then I left the game and came back, and here we are. So, what I want to continue doing is, I've realised just how far away this actually is from my base. Like, it might not seem it, but that's a really long drive. So, I'm going to make the use out of this area that I've now sort of liberated, and just loot it all. Let's see what we can get from it. I'm playing Owen here, who is ready for plague zombie fighting, because he comes with six C4s, which I did not know about. Good to know. But I will put those away for later. He certainly doesn't need his Osprey right now. Um, just a crossbow will do if I've got a spare one lying around. So let's see what they have around here. Chemicals, that can be turned into ammo, so I will welcome that. And some gas cans. Does this character need to level their shooting? Uh, just a little bit, yeah. What's heroism? Oh, that's a shitload of health. Okay, that's why he's such a good character then. Got it. Oh, and he has prowess as well. This guy's really good. Yeah. Hey, some materials. Oh, wait, we don't pick up firecrackers. I have too many of them from the incident. Hey, it's Max shooting, right? Let's see what can we get him. War fighting. Shooting tactics courtesy of the Red Talon training program unlocks aim snap. Is that it? Or does it give you a bunch of... Oh, yeah, it gives you a bunch of passives. That's good. I knew I made the right choice by going out of my way to get one of these guys. Hey, some more materials. And a shovel, but I'll leave that behind. Oh, hey there. That was a very fast takedown. That must be one of his abilities. Let's uh, bring this truck a little closer. No, two rucksacks in this one weird cabin. I'll take more meds though. I don't even know if my storage is going to be able to handle this, but I honestly don't care. <laughs> I'll need it eventually. It can sit in the back of a truck if it's too much. So many gas cans in here. I actually cannot carry all this. I'm going to have to go back to the outpost and drop some stuff off. This one house has, like, more stuff than that one town I was looting earlier. Oh. The Night Watch wants some materials. Where are they? Oh. You know what? You can just die in there. I don't care. <laughs> Get your own materials. You're in plague territory. You're not worth the effort. Infesting hordes. Ah, yeah. The Awakened Plague Heart is starting to do its thing. Yeah, we might want to go take that down soon. I'll fill it with stuff. Take it back to my... Uh... I don't need fireworks. I'll take... Go back to my base and head out and take down yet another plague heart, I think, because it's going to keep infesting until I kill it. Craftsmanship. I'll drop a shovel for that. Yeah, there's still a bunch of stuff in here. I just don't really have the room for it. Make a couple of trips, though. Siege sites. What, why are you telling me about this? Where are they? How the hell did you infest up there? Bro, the plague heart is miles away. That sucks. I feel cheated. Whatever. I'll deal with it. Yep. Our food outpost has been taken over by an infestation. All because of that bloody mission where I had to go and fight some bandits in plague territory. Which awoke the plague heart. I learned a new thing today. If the plague heart awakens, kill it instantly. Which is my current objective. And then I'll go and liberate all those infested sites. Right, you had your own gun, the Osprey, which has five, five, six rounds. And I'll grab some more C4, a few firecrackers, food and medicine. Should really be all I need, but I probably also want to grab a quick sidearm. So you never know when those fettles will sneak up on you. Right, let's head out to the Awakened Play Cart. Kill it off so it stops sending infestation hordes to my base. And then we can clear those actual infestations. Ooh, a red talent trader. She may be worth talking to. But play card comes first. Is this gonna fall over? No, I didn't think so. There's no easy way to do this. We're surrounded by zombies on all sides. I'm just gonna run over here now. And hope they get more attracted to the firecracker than me. See if I can lose most of them. Yeah, I think they got startled or something by the firecrackers and they're kind of over there now. I just need to get in here. Place to see- oh fucking hell. The only way in is a little fucking door, really? I could smash through the glass, but I feel like that would cause an equal amount of problems. I could also shoot the thing just from here, but I kind of want to use a C4. Oh, this character doesn't have stealth yet. I gotta make this quick. That wasn't too bad. 
place that. Sneak away. Is this another? Oh no, it's a garden supply. Run away! Where's the Pharaoh? Where is he? Should be able to start securing this area now. Again? Screamer. Weird gun. Okay, so this will hopefully now stop sending infestations. They'll actually decay on their own, but I would really rather do it myself now. You know, the quick way. What we got in here? Yo. Okay, I'll take all this. Is this it's the same as mine? Okay. I'll live with all that stuff. Right, let's um head back to my base. I'll take down those infestations. Also, I'm going to abandon the Mount Tanner Visitor Center outpost. Because it's just not helping me that much. And I'll get my influence back. Some of it. Just over half of it. I'll probably take it again at some point because it is quite useful, but I need the influence more. Speaking of which, how much do I have? 2,800 basically. Okay. I think I need 3,500 to get the next place, so we're, we're getting there. Okay, we can still hold all that. Good. How's our stuff looking now? Oh, even better. Right, let's go take down these infestations. Hopefully the one at that outpost first, because it's, you know, more severe. Because it's actually stopping something from us. Even if it is just food. At least it'll improve morale. I think all we really need to do is take down the Screamer. Yeah, so the infestation is cleared, but we still have zombies here that I want to fight. Great. That's that clear. Let's take down this one as well. That is helping with morale and influence as well. Oh, this character specializes in wits now. Uh, mental faculties honed by dozens of successful red talent operations. That is just so much stuff. Right, for this one we need to take down a bloater and a screamer. Oh, the bloater killed itself. That pretty much happens every time, actually. Uh, but the screamer could be a problem. It is. Ah, that was pretty easy. Still, want to kill the rest of the zombies. That um, bloater dropped the first aid kit on the floor. That's useful. Okay, are we clear of all the infestations? Looks like it. None of these play cards are awakened yet, so we're good. Now then, the wandering trader is down there. I'm going to go to the outpost. I'm going to pick up as much sellables as I can, and even some things that have uses other than being sold, uh, but you can still sell them for some amount of money. Let's see if I can get enough influence to move into the other place, and we'll do that in the next episode. Hello, my friend. Ray Santos here, calling for help, as promised. Would you mind coming by to lend me a hand? Ray Santos wants help. Okay, we can do that in a moment. Let me do the wandering trader thing first here, though. I have all my sellables. Oh, seriously, there's another infestation? I'm guessing that's just one that was already on the move after Playcart Awakened. Okay, we'll deal with that as well. <laughs> Where does it? Oh, I actually don't know. I have no idea where this infested house is. Hello, Blevins. Sell her some shit. And I've got more. There we go. She doesn't actually have enough influence to buy this last thing. That's fine. Uh, she has a bunch of really good looking weapons, but I haven't found a need for them, to be honest. Like, just see for the play carts and run away from everything else, to be honest. Juggernauts would be useful for this. I have 4,000 influence now, wow. That's actually really good, because it means I can move in and I can take, like, other outposts and stuff. And I can maybe start affording to actually buy things. So, Santos has a quest for me too. He is... I don't know where he is. Quest marker, 700 meters. There it is. We'll do that before we end today. Probably give me a little bit more influence as well.
Okay, he needs to move in somewhere. Over there? Oh, I remember that place from the other game. Clear all the zombies. Okay. Oh, it's a screamer. It's a whole lot of zombies in there. There's that damn screamer. There we go. There's a bloater outside. Lovely. Oh, okay. So it just it summons a horde anyway. <laughs> okay. If I have to fight a juggernaut with Ray Santos here, this is going to go badly. influence can we trade with him okay so ray santos is living in this church he has nothing to really trade um good for him i guess we got 200 influence for it though so i'm up to 4500 that's not bad i am gonna drive back to base and that is gonna do it for today's episode we got a lot done there we've helped ray santos move back into the church from the thing and i have a bunch of extra materials and stuff now and my characters are like all heroes is is owen a hero yet no he has compact ordnance. He's going to take forever to reach that, isn't he? Because he gets, like, no standing rewards. Yeah, that's going to take a while to level him, but that's fine. All he gets is the extra item stack size, which is nice, but it's not crazy. So I'm going to drive back the base. In the next episode, we will move into the farmhouse and deal with all the chaos that will follow with that, with, uh, you know having no buildings and having to rebuild everything really quickly, whilst also putting out the various fires of the world, because, you know, everybody will leave if you don't help them, because they're fucking useless. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and in the meantime, a special thank you to my members and patrons. If you want to become one of those, you can find the links down in the description. If you've watched this video, you'll probably be interested in another one. I would recommend the one on the top right right now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.